So I'm going to take you through the profiles of each of the cardinals who will be in the Electoral College after this August's consistory. Uh, the Electoral College who will elect the next Pope consists of cardinals who have not reached the age of 80. So it'll be interesting time. Maybe one of these cardinals will be the next Pope. Maybe there will be another consistory in the future. We don't know. Um, but I suppose it's very interesting now to become familiar with these men who will be the next Pope. Anyway, enjoy this. God bless. Take care. Please like and share this video and let me know what you think in the comments. Take care. Bye bye. So the next Cardinal we're going to look at is Cardinal Reiner Maria Volke. And he is the Metropolitan Archbishop of Cologne, Germany. So he is number 26 and on the list from oldest to youngest of Cardinals. He was created by Pope Benedict and he is 66 years old. So Cardinal Reiner Maria Volke, Metropolitan Archbishop of Cologne, Germany, was born on the 18th of August 1956 in Cologne, Germany. He was ordained a priest on the 14th of June 1985. He holds a doctorate in theology and from 1985 until 1989 he served as parish vicar of St. Marien in Neuss. In 1989 he was appointed military chaplain in Munster and in 1990 parish vicar of St. Joseph's in Arattingen. Rattingen. In 1990, he was appointed secretary for the Archbishop of Cologne and in 1997 became director for the Collegium Albertum in Bonn for the seminarians studying for theology at the University of Bonn. On the 24th of February 2003, he was appointed titular bishop of Scampa and auxiliary of Cologne. He received episcopal ordination on the 30th of March 2003. In 2011 he was appointed Metropolitan Archbishop of Berlin. Less than a month after being installed as Archbishop he welcomed Pope Benedict on the Pope's third visit to his homeland. On the 11th of July 2014 he was appointed Metropolitan Archbishop of Kuhn. He participated in the conclave of 2013 which elected Pope Francis. Created and proclaimed Cardinal by Pope Benedict on in the consistory on the 18th of February 2012 on the title of San Giovanni Maria Vianney. He is member, members of the Dicastery for Divine Worship, Discipline and Sacraments, Promoting Christian Unity, Administration of the Patrimony of the Holy See. So this is the profile of Cardinal uh, Rayner. Uh, if we look at his uh, Wikipedia page, there's a lot more there. I mean, and uh, needless to say, um, if we go down here, it's his handling of sexual child abuse cases, um, which I people can read it. Uh, he submitted his resignation to Pope Benedict this year. Uh, so that that happened in um, this this year. So. This man has has already submitted his resignation um, for maybe the way he has mishandled abuse cases and um, the, the Pope will have to make a decision on his future. Will he ever be elected Pope? Not a chance. Simply not a chance. He will never be elected. Not with this track record. The last thing cardinals will want to do is to bring a man into the papacy who has any uh, anything under in the closet that uh, such as mishandling of abuses like we've already seen with Pope Benedict himself there's been a report that's been dragged up from the early 1980s so he will participate in the conclave and uh, he will undoubtedly he would vote for a Cardinal Muller or Cardinal Sarah that would be you know in the hustings when the first votes come up um, but no he will not be Pope um, he and I, and I would even. I mean, he's not even going to be on the short list for those uh, for Carlin's being elected pope. Anyway, so that is the the bio of Cardinal Marie uh, Rainer Maria Volki. I mean, it's hard for some of these good bishops and good cardinals when they're landed in positions and they don't make the right decisions, and uh, it comes back to bite them. So, sadly, it uh, pray for him. God bless. Take care. Bye bye.